You know, a lot of times if you're going through some difficulty and you go to somebody and you talk to somebody and they tell you, brother, be patient. And you, sometimes we kind of think and sometimes people actually do lash out or they want to lash out and they're like, what do you mean be patient? Do you even know what I'm going through? Do you understand or realize what I'm dealing with? Be patient. Easy for you to say. Like we say, you know, easier said than done, brother. But when the Prophet ﷺ tells us to be patient, when he tells us to have hope, when he tells us not to worry, when he tells us to keep the faith, when he tells us to stay strong, when he tells us that everything will be all right, do you understand how much credibility he has when he says that? The Prophet of Allah وسلم, was blessed with how many children? Seven. How many children? Seven children. Very good. Out of seven children, how many boys, how many girls? How many sons, how many daughters? How many daughters? Four. How many daughters, everyone? Four. All right. And three sons. Six of those children died during his lifetime. Six of his children died during his lifetime. Do you understand what it's... We can't even comprehend what it's like to have to bury and pray Janazah for your own child. The Prophet ﷺ did it six times. We, in our own community, just um, two days ago, Thursday, we had a janazah in our own community where a young sister from our community passed away. Exactly like the area, the neighborhood that I live in Arlington, in South Arlington, a sister passed away. She was 21 years old. I spent a couple of days before that with her father and I was there with him at the janazah as well. And looking into his eyes broke your heart. Just looking into his eyes, watching a father pray janazah for his daughter broke your heart, let alone what his heart must be going through. Can you imagine the Prophet's heart was broken like that six times. Never ever, never ever hear the Prophet say, have patience. It's okay. It'll be all right. Don't worry about it. It's no big deal. Forgive them. Let it go. And ever think to yourself, that's easy to say. Mm -mm. Catch your tongue. That man knew more pain than you can even imagine. And he was still that optimistic and that bright and that illuminating to everyone around him. You know, it's very interesting, not just in English, but in many other languages. We have a word in English even for what do you call somebody whose parents pass away? Call them an orphan. You have a word for somebody whose wife passes away, a widower, a woman whose husband passes away, a widow. You don't have a word for what you call a parent whose child passed away because it's not supposed to happen. It's too heartbreaking to even give it a word, to give it a name. And the Prophet ﷺ went through that six times.